Hello all, uh, welcome to my channel. Today in this session, I am going to explain about the differences between the partial payment and residual payment. So generally, what is meant by partial and residual payment? Both are same, but system will uh, CP system will act as a in different way. So I will explain to detail about uh, this in this session. So first of all, I will be going to the vendor line item report. So there I will show you practically. So here I am uh, accessing the transaction code ABL1N. ABL1N. So my vendor is okay 300005 and my company code is 2000. So as of today I am selecting the, all the open items. So if you can see we have uh, 4 line items, 4 open line items we have. So first of all, uh, I will talk about the partial payment scenario. So if I make the if I make the partial payment to again is to this document one nine zero zero ending with twelve. So here uh, I have ten thousand ten thousand in credit. So if I made the partial payment to this line item five thousand, so system will this line item will remain same here, and the system will generate one more line item with the five thousand debit entry. Uh, which is the document type would be KZ. So KR is invoice, KZ is payment entry. So it means in the partial payment scenario, the original line item still remains same and system will generate a new document with the payment entry with a debit entry. So it means uh, uh, 10,000 credit and 5,000 new entry, the debit entry will be generated. KZ with the KZ document type, then the balance will be uh, system will balance will be decreased by five thousand. And and I will take uh, another document for the residual payment scenario. Uh, the document number is one nine all uh, zeros ending with one three. So this is also a uh, vendor invoice KR, and here uh, amount is fifty thousand credit. Okay, whenever I do the residual payment. So system will uh, uh, if I do the residual payment of twenty thousand, so system will uh, what system will do? System will uh, clear this invoice, clear this invoice, and whatever the balance are pending balance are there, system will show only that pending amount will be shown here. So the original invoice system will do original invoice system will clear. In the real time business real time scenario, we will be using uh, all the all the business scenarios. Uh, they will be using only partial payment only. The residual payment will not be. Uh, the in the rare cases only they will be used. So now I will show you in the another screen. I'm opening the another screen here. So to post the outgoing payment, we need to access the transaction code F dash fifty three. Okay, so I'm selecting the document date as posting date and document type is KZ and period is 9 and my company code is 2000 and currency is INR. So I'm selecting my house bank and my out bank, outgoing account is this one. So I mount. So first of all, initially I will go with this one 19 all zeros 12 partial payment scenario. So here 10,000 is there. So I will be going with the 5,000. Okay, then my vendor is three double zero double zero five. Just hit enter. Okay, no commitment item entered. Uh, so in my case, uh, fund management is activated, so that's why system is looking for the commitment item. So uh, let me add the profit center here. Okay, now, now we are going to make the partial entry for this document 19 all zeros ending with 12 and 10,000 MO. This one, so I will be going to partial amount tab here. So for this document again, next, I will be entering 5,000. So entered amount is 5,000 and assigned amount is 5,000 and then click on post so system has posted this document document uh, 15 all zeros ending with 12 was posted in company code 2000 now I will come to my vendor line item report 
we just click on re list and refresh so here we can see so for this line item we have uh, posted the partial payment so system has generated this line item 15 all zeros ending with 12 with the document type is kz 5000 debit so it means from the 10,000 to 5,000 has been less the total balance will be 56,000 now so it means the partial payment scenario the original document which remains same the system will generate the another line item with the payment entry okay now we will see the residual payment entry how system will react in this scenario I am going to do the residual payment for this line item 19.00013 and the amount is 50,000 so the same vendor I'm selecting my bank details and then here I'm making the 20,000 as a residual payment and then my account okay so yes so now so we are, I'm going to do the residual payment for 19 all zeros 13 which is uh, amount is 50,000 19 all zeros 13 document type KR and the amount is 50,000 in credit okay now I will be going to the residual item tab and then just double click on here okay so the balance amount will be come here so uh, my invoice amount is 50,000 I am trying to make the residual payment for 20,000 so system is uh, fetching the residual item here this one and then click on simulate Okay, so just click come here just add the test here and then click on post so system has posted uh, 15 3 times all zeros and 13 system has posted this document now if you can see this document will disappear from here so it means system will clear this document and uh, the remaining balance system will uh, show here with a new line item the system it means uh, system will uh, clear the original invoice line item and it will create a new line item with a balance amount okay so just click on list and click on uh, refresh here so here we can see that 50,000 line item has been disappeared now now system has uh, uh, showing this line item 15 all zeros 13 with the 30,000 remaining balance 30,000 30, so here we can see the document which has been posted ending with 13 so now I will go one step back and I will select all items and then I will execute it now so now here we can see um, so yeah this one is my this is my original document 19.00013 this is my original invoice document so system has uh, created one reversal document for I mean to say clearing document for this with the 50,000 it means the original invoice has been cleared and the pending and the uh, system has generated one new line item here as a open item with the remaining balance so this is the main differences between the partial payment and residual payment I hope uh, you guys understood this session. Thank you so much for watching my videos.